Uh, the Trump administration has already filed many new lawsuits and claiming irregularities that impacted, he says, the outcome of the election in several Pennsylvania counties, including the Philadelphia area, also in Pittsburgh. Biden won handily in both cities. The win here in Pennsylvania puts Biden over the top, of course, securing the needed 270 electoral votes to declare that he had won the presidency. And Action News investigative reporter Chad Pedelli looked into how often election fraud has been proven and why it's so hard to prove in court. President Trump's Hail Mary to win the presidential election has been scream election fraud. But the Trump campaign has provided zero evidence so far. If you have evidence of it, then you set it forth in your petition and raise it. But you should not just go out and yell election fraud because it helps to undermine the confidence in the system, which as far as I can see, works pretty, uh, pretty well. Sam Stratton is an election attorney. He says voter fraud is extremely rare and difficult to prove. Because there's oftentimes no tra paper trail. And it really isn't much election fraud. They usually affect only a few, very few number of votes in very local contests. David Thornburg is with the Committee of 70, a nonpartisan organization that promotes good government. He echoes Stratton's thoughts. And I also remind people that to pull off a fraud that involves maybe tens of thousands of votes would take an enormously sophisticated uh, and well-run and secret conspiracy involving maybe hundreds or thousands of people who are willingly engaging in felonious uh, conduct. Stratton can only recall one case that's been determined by voter fraud. In the early 1990s, a judge ruled Democratic state Senate candidate William Stinson had stolen the election from Bruce Marks in North Philadelphia's 2nd Senatorial District through an elaborate fraud in which hundreds of residents were encouraged to vote by absentee ballot, even though they had no legal reason. After the election, Democratic winner Stinson ended up being replaced by Marks. The only time where a race was actually changed was the Bruce Marks case where he was able to, in federal court, prove misconduct with the absentee ballots. State Republican leaders have come out publicly and stated they do not believe there was any voter fraud, but have called for an audit, which the Secretary of State has ordered. In Haverford Township, Chad Perdelli, Channel 6, Action News.